What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another Swatcher review for you. So today we are talking about the new ILNP Golden Hour collection, which is for late summer slash transitioning into fall. We've got six brand new polishes, but before I get into that, if you haven't heard of ILNP before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based out of the US and they are seven free, meaning they are free of seven of the potentially harmful ingredients that are often found in nail polish. They are also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals and on their website they list that they make a conscious effort to avoid using any animal derived ingredients. So like I said we've got six brand new polishes and I'm really excited about them. They're all very inspired by golden hour so that really beautiful time of day where the sun is setting and everything just looks really shiny and golden and beautiful and the reason I'm very excited about these is because we are seeing the very first ILNP magnetic polish. So yeah, let me just dive into the swatches, then we'll talk a little bit more about pricing, availability, all my thoughts on the collection. So roll the footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I'm using the Cirque base coat. So we've got a variety of different finishes here. I'm kind of going in color order from lightest to darkest and this lightest shade is called Horizon and it's a really beautiful iridescent flaky sparkle. So I'm not actually sure if this is meant to be a topper or meant to be worn on its own, but when I put it on on its own in that first coat, I was blown away by how gorgeous and sparkly it looked, but I ended up wanting to see if I could make it full coverage. The second coat actually looked really nice as well well and then once I hit that third coat I can still see a little bit of the visible nail line because it is a sheer polish but I think it is so beautiful in this amount of coats it feels like it's meant to be full coverage like you're supposed to have a little bit of that visible nail line showing through and it really has that stunning sparkle to it that kind of shifts depending on where the light is so with direct lighting it looks very golden and bright and then indirect lighting it looks a little bit more blue and cool toned. So of course I also had to try it on over black because I love iridescent shimmers over black. I think they're so transformative and this way you can really see a lot of that golden sparkle and that was when I noticed that it's also a little bit holographic. So you can see a little scattered hollow sparkle running throughout as well. So super stunning. It really shades like this always remind me of like snow and specifically the way it looks when the sun hits it at dusk. <laughs> Next up we have the shade Afterlight and this is what I like to call a Crelly formula. So we have something that's kind of a mix between a cream and a jelly. It's not a fully opaque polish like a cream but it's not super sheer like a jelly. It kind of sits somewhere in between and we have this nice buff beige base color and then within that we have this really beautiful subtle golden fleck running throughout. So I feel like I could have gotten away with two coats if I was a little bit more careful with brush strokes but it's such a thin formula that I really don't mind doing three coats for it and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love shades like this. I think they feel so elegant and pretty. They're very work appropriate but they're more than just your average neutral cream because they have that little sparkle of fleck in there as well. Moving on we have the shade Whisper. Now this one is a purely jelly formula. We have this actually really dusty rose neutral kind of jelly base and then within that base we have an iridescent flake. It's a little bit larger than the ones in Afterlight and it's nice and soft and subtle. So I love the way that it looks in two coats. I think it really gives the perfect coverage with just a dash of visible nail line. But I'll also show you what it looks like in three coats in case you're curious for a little bit more of a full coverage look. This reminds me of the Cirque Candy Coat formula. It's got that nice opalescent feel to it. It's really soft and pretty. I would say this one is a little bit more of a delicate style. It's more subtle. The flakes are a little bit smaller and a little bit more randomized on the nail. And honestly, don't make me choose between the two. I think both formulas are incredible. <laughs> Next, we have the shade Sundown. And this is a really interesting formula. And by the way, I really appreciate that they did so many different exciting formulas to kind of convey the same feeling of this like golden hour vibe. But this one is a orangey golden shade 
shimmer that also has a linear hollow sparkle. So this one was so hard to capture on camera because there's so much going on in it. We have that really beautiful orangey gold base color. Then we have that intense gold shimmer, but then you can also see when the light hits it or when the sun hits it, there's that linear hollow sparkle. So a lot going on, really beautiful coverage in two coats, and it just feels like such an interesting and unique shade. Next up, we have my favorite of the collection. This one is Good As Gold, and I actually wasn't expecting to fall in love with this one as immediately as I did, but you can see the coverage was just insane. It was absolutely beautiful. It's a very similar formula to the one that they did. I don't remember if it was last Halloween or the Halloween before that, where it's this sort of jelly-like base, but then it's absolutely packed with metallic flex in it that kind of just adds so much dimension. Here's what it looks like in two coats. We've got this beautiful orange base, then we have this intense gold metallic fleck running throughout, just absolutely packed with it. And it is so unique, so gorgeous, and it's really such a vibrant color. And I think that's what made me so drawn to it. So I love it. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Amber, and this is their new magnetic formula. So we have this really beautiful deep orange base, and then we have an intense golden magnetic shimmer running throughout. So on the ILNP website, they recommend magnetizing after each coat. I did not realize that when I was swatching these because I swatched them a little bit early because I'm in the process of moving. So what I have done in the past with my magnetics is I usually apply them for full coverage and then I do an extra coat to magnetize them and I wanted to also show you the slightly different method of magnetizing. This is instead of holding the magnet over your nail while it's wet, you can actually place your hand on the magnet and it'll magnetize as you're applying the polish. So it's definitely another cool way to do that, especially if you're a little on the slow side, which I usually am. <laughs> so here are all of the shades together and I am absolutely in love. I will say I tend to prefer the ILNP collections that have all the same finish in different colors because I always find them to be a little bit more cohesive for me. But in this case, I am just blown away by how every different finish and every different color seems to feel so perfectly aligned with the golden hour theme of the collection. I just think they did such an incredible job and each color really evokes that feeling for me. The formulas are incredible. I love all the different finishes here. I could really see myself wearing every single one of them and I feel like they work really well together as well. So absolutely in love with this. Cannot say enough good things about this collection. This is definitely my favorite ILNP collection of the year, which is hard to say because their splash collection was so incredible, but this one really takes the cake for me. So yeah, those are the polishes. And overall, I think it's just a really beautiful color story. I think the polishes are really gorgeous. One thing about ILNP is that it's a really delicate formula. So I find that in general, I tend to use more coats, but I don't feel like it's a detriment to the brand because I think they're such thin coats that it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing three coats or whatever it ends up being. But every once in a while, they have a very opaque polish and I get very excited about that. But yeah, I just think they're so buildable and soft that each coat that you do just makes the polish look even prettier. So it's kind of, I don't know, it, it feels very boutique. It feels very fancy. And I would say this is one of the very few brands that I consistently wear three coaters and I don't have a problem with it. And I also just think in general that they make really pretty colors that I can't find from other brands. So that's one of the reasons why I don't mind doing three coats as well. So yeah, definitely a gorgeous collection. I really feel the golden hour vibes. And I think it's also a perfect transitional collection because it does feel like that late summer, early into fall time of year. So these polishes come in 12 milliliter bottles. They do have soft touch cap and they have what I like to call a medium wide flat brush. So it's not too wide, but it's also not too skinny. It's kind of just the perfect medium. And those polishes retail for $10 USD on the website. I do want to note that if you purchase the magnetic polish on its own, you will need to purchase the magnet separately. And that retails for $5 USD. But if you buy the full collection on the listing on the website for the full collection, the magnet does get included with that. So I'm going to link everything down below. You can check them out if you're interested.
interested, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this collection? What do you think of their very first magnetic polish? And what do you think of magnetic polishes in general? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I also have a second YouTube channel, my vlog channel, where I show you a little bit more behind the scenes. And I do have a podcast, which I will link down in the description. You can check that out if you're interested. And of course, a huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Rocket Man's daughter, and Paola. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Kristen and Pink. And Kristen and Pink wants to know, name one thing that you want to try before you die. I feel like there are so many things that I want to do. I actually do keep a bucket list, but I don't think that there's anything absolutely crazy on there. I think it's all just like very basic stuff. I would definitely love to write a book at some point in my life. It's something that I have always dreamed of doing and it's something that I kind of do in my spare time. I would love to actually be in a nail polish lab, actually mixing and making a nail polish. I think that would be awesome. And I also would love to, at some point in my life, have a session with a personal trainer, just because I feel like I'm, I love working out. I enjoy doing it, but I'm not great at it. And I would just love to have a personal trainer tell me if my form is right. So those are very boring ones, but those are like my dreams. You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess I would also, I, I, I don't know. I'm not really very travel minded, but I, I guess I guess I would want to visit some cool places, but I couldn't even tell you what they are because I, I don't really think that big. So I'm not like dreaming of Paris or anything like that, just because it doesn't even occur to me that that's something that I could potentially do in my life. But maybe someday, maybe I'll come up with a list of destinations that I'd love to go to. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.